As they said, conditions are expected to get worse over the next few hours, especially along the eastern shore. Stefan Dingle is live in Ocean City this morning. We can see it's already coming down there, uh, Stefan. Yeah, I'd seen it. It really is. And just as Abigail had mentioned, those winds that could cost, uh, cause coastal flooding, it's apparent right here. We're on Philadelphia Avenue, which is one of the main thoroughfares here in Ocean City. We're just about three blocks from the inlet. Uh, Sean, take a look down there. You can see down the road, all of this is flooded. Uh, Sean, as we come back, I'm going to take a step over. I want you to point down to my feet. It is up ankle high right now, and I can tell you, just last night at 11 o'clock on WJZ, we were all the way down there at the inlet, and it wasn't any of this. So, uh, just about four hours ago, if you will, that uh, that coastal that those, those winds caused the coastal flooding with the water to kind of start to recede here on Philadelphia Avenue. Now, just over a block is Baltimore Avenue, if you're familiar with Ocean City. So we're only about two blocks from the actual beachfront, um, and as this has been happening. We talked to people yesterday uh, who said that they're here for vacation, birthdays, and all that, including restaurant owners who say they're ready for what we're seeing right now. Winds whipping and rip currents on full display in Ocean City as Tropical Storm Ophelia prepares to soak this popular vacation town. It's paid for, it's bought, and I was watching the weather, and every obstacle possible tried to stop us, including the weather. Just hope it don't flood. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Gotcha. Other than that, uh, I don't know. I've never been in a tropical storm. Our first alert weather team is predicting high winds of up to 50 miles per hour, heavy bands of rain, and chances of coastal flooding with ocean waters already crashing the shore late Friday. It's not really new to us here in Ocean City. We're used to these tropical storms, hurricanes. Uh, we do a lot of preparation at our hotels and restaurants to get ready for this. <laughs> So much so that patrons visiting Ocean City for the weekend still packed out the bar at this local restaurant waiting for Tropical Storm Ophelia's arrival. One woman is heeding the warning, though, with plans to head back home to West Virginia a day earlier than expected. If it's going to be crappy all day, I just want to go ahead and go home. Some people walk the boardwalk and capture the beginning of the conditions of what will be a severe storm. Some visitors we talked to are planning to stay, but have an evacuation plan just in case there is chaos on the ocean waterfront. If it does get bad, we're going to head straight out and head over the Route 50 bridge and go inland and come out 113. Yeah, we're going to listen to the weather. Gotcha. I'll be having you guys on <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, as we're back out here live again on Philadelphia Avenue, this is a fire hydrant still up here about feet deep. I'm going to take a step off this sidewalk. You'll see this now goes above my ankle towards my shin. Now, those last two people that you heard in, in that story, they, they literally are at a hotel that is down there right on the inlet, right on the water. And as you see, if it's like this right there, it's probably like this down there. So as that gentleman mentioned, they have an evacuation plan on how to get out of this mess. And as we come back over here, just behind me, these are residences, if you will. You can see kind of the wind and the rain kind of whipping sideways here as we see somebody trying to come through. Uh, obviously, you should never try to do that in these type of flooding situations. Um, hey, how you doing? They're waving, but you say turn around, don't drown when you see standing water on the road like this. But again, as I mentioned, just behind me are actual residences where people live. And it's deep here. It's deeper over there. We're going to keep, we're going to be out here all morning long. Every 30 minutes, we'll give you an update showing you some of the conditions around here. We're going to head to the boardwalk next to show you what it's really like near the, uh, the beachfront there, which I'm sure if you see it here, it's probably worse there. For now, we are live in Ocean City. I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ. Thank you, Stefan. Yes, we'll see you soon. For now, though,